Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. First of all, happy new year. <laughs> what? Happy new year guys, it's been that long. Happy new years. If you are new here, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe. And if you're returning, thank you so much for tuning in. So I have prepared a list of items that I am glad I didn't buy. These are items that either were on my wish list and I've removed them or I'm a little hesitant about or that I'm just simply glad that I didn't purchase them but I still like them or could see them in my wardrobe to some degree. So that is kind of like the background of this. And this stuff is in no particular order. The Bottega Drop Earrings. I actually really like these earrings. I purchased them in the alternative version of these earrings, but I could not justify the price. And especially when so many different brands came with their um, version of this earring, I just feel like it wasn't classic or timeless enough for me to make the investment, but I still did like the earrings. I am glad that I had them in the alternative version because I really don't reach for them a whole lot. Now for certain outfits, they're like a definite, and I have the larger size. So certain outfits, it's like a no brainer, but they're not a pair of earrings that I just grab a whole lot. And I have them in the silver and the gold. But when I do put them on, I'm like, these, these work really well in the wardrobe. So although I would not pay <laughs> their original price, the alternative version I can get with, I can get with in that's where we at with it. The Lueve Anagram tank top. Now this one honestly was never really on my wish list because I just, again, it was price and quality combined for me. I don't mind investing in items that I feel like will be forever pieces in my wardrobe or investment pieces. You know, those things that will transcend time and you can wear them in 10, 20 years from now. And it's like, oh wow, I remember when that came out or I, I wish I would have gotten that. I didn't get that from this shirt. <laughs> um, and obviously when I see people wearing it, I'm like, oh, like it looks nice on them. It's a basic, you know, tank top. So you really can't go wrong with it. But I just, it wasn't justifiable for me. It's the same with the Prada one because I know Prada had their, actually at this point, so many brands have their version of this shirt or tank top. Um, but I just, it wasn't there for me. And the reviews that I did see on it, it's kind of like, uh, not worth the money, but I mean it's Lueve. It is still got that logo on the front So that is obviously what you are investing in but for me It really just did not make sense. So for that I am so glad I skipped out on it and plus I don't really wear a lot of clothes With just a tank top if that makes sense. I don't really wear even in the summertime, I don't really wear just tank tops. Um, and even underneath the blazers or jackets and things like that, it's really usually not just a tank top. So I would, I honestly wouldn't see myself wearing this tank top a whole lot um, because it's just not something that I typically wear anyway. So I don't think cost per wear, I definitely don't think I would have, I would have made that. <laughs> made that uh it wouldn't have balanced out for me so i'm glad i didn't purchase it um honestly i was in no rush to purchase it but when i did see it i was kind of like mm, if it goes on sale maybe i'll consider it but mm -mm, not not on my radar at all so then we have the mugular jeans now i've talked about these before um i did have them on my wish list and had them on there for a while because obviously they were trending and they were everywhere and i liked the spiral look but I'm so glad that I didn't get them because I just feel like they were so overdone, especially with the H&M collab. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind purchasing popular things and wearing it at the right time for me or wearing it when it's popular. Like I don't, that's not what I care about, but I feel like, again, when it comes to cost per wear, I wouldn't have gotten it. And these are just jeans that I probably would be tired of by now and not because I'm seeing them everywhere, but just because they're so specific that you kind of have to put the right outfit on with it. You know what I mean? Like it's one of those items that it has to be, it's a specific piece. You know what I mean? So 
I, I don't feel like I would have made this, this wouldn't have been very versatile for me and in my wardrobe. So it probably would have been a moment in time thing, something that I would have just worn around that time around now but in a year or two from now i probably wouldn't be reaching for it as much it's just kind of like one of those things where if it's your style your core style of course you're going to get a lot of wear out of it no matter if it's trending or not but for me i do kind of feel like it was more so the fact that it was trending and i did i do like the jeans but in terms of me wearing them long term or just picking them up and grabbing them all the time to wear with stuff i don't i, I wouldn't be doing it so <laughs> It wouldn't have been worth it for me so i'm kind of glad that i skipped out on it even with the collaboration with h&m they were a little bit more you know affordable you still got that same look it was still mugler so you know the vibes were still there and then they come in so many different prints it's more than just the the black and the denim like you got different versions but i just feel like for me it long term wise wouldn't have aged well for me so i'm glad that i skipped out on that thing so then we have the attico cargo pants when these came out i feel like they hit like a storm like they were it and don't get me wrong they still are very much so it um i just feel like when they first came out they were good and then they got a little bit proud so then we start seeing different versions, different colorways, different styles, and different prices. And that's where we draw the line because I feel like cargos are super trending right now. Um, but again, cargos are not necessarily something that I would pick up to wear um, if before the trend. Like I have cargo pants in my wardrobe and I would definitely wear them. But in terms of me making the investment on this particular pair and wearing this a whole lot, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably get like a few wears out of it, a few different looks, but I wouldn't get to wear it a whole lot. Um, also, it kind of, I kind of feel like they got overdone again because they did come out with so many different colorways. There's so many different alternatives to this pair of jeans and not just this style, but cargos in general because they're trending. They are a huge trend. So, so many brands had their own version. I also wasn't sure how well they worked on Curvy Girls. I did not try this pair on um but i wasn't sure if they were curvy go friendly and what i know that has been true to luxury or designer jeans or uh, pants in general <laughs> for pretty much a lot of brands is that they don't generally fit us curvy girls so i just feel like that would have been almost a waste of my time to even be disappointed now don't get me wrong they could be curvy girl friendly i have not done my research on them that deep to know that because like I said I was kind of put off with them um over a time so I didn't look back at them but if what they do is to be true still they are not gonna fit me properly and I don't have time moving on so switching to categories here we're gonna switch to shoes now this pair of shoes I honestly I'm conflicted I'm conflicted because I still do like and want this pair of shoes. They're going to be the Chanel loafers. I know, I know, I know. I love this shoe. However, and I wanted this shoe really bad. Like I had so many different ideas of how I would wear this shoe and I still do. However, I feel like at this moment in time, like as of this moment right now, I have not thought, man, I got this outfit on. I would, I need those Chanel loafers. Those Chanel loafers would look so good with this outfit. I have not had that moment. I have not had that moment of missing out um, in terms of like, I have an outfit that they would look perfect with. Of course, I have different things in my wardrobe that would absolutely um, work well with this pair of shoes, but I've not had that moment that I'd miss them. <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong, I am still like on the fence about it because I still do want this pair of shoes. I feel like they would work well in my wardrobe and I definitely would get more wear out of them. Um, because for instance, my Laura Pianas, I get, and I know these are two totally different styles of shoes. They're one soft, one's a leather, you know, different vibes kind of. 
but similar loafer style and I get a lot of wear a lot of wear out of my Laura Pianas like that's easily one of my most versatile shoes and for me it's year round so I get a lot a lot a lot of wear out of those shoes so in moments like when I'm thinking about how often I would wear those I'm like okay if I had the Chanel loafers in my collection then I would obviously be wearing them in place of the Laura Pianas. So it's kind of like there's the conflict for me. I haven't had that moment where I'm like, oh yeah, I need these loafers for this outfit. But then when I think about how often I wear my Laura Pianas, I'm like, okay, well then I definitely could be wearing these with different outfits. So I don't know, I went in the store the other day and I seen them and I was kind of like, mm, should we, you know, should we try this? I, I, I don't know. Um, I still do want them because I feel like they're a staple like you can't really go wrong with loafers even though they're a hot topic right now and it's like a moment right now I feel like they're a classic style shoe like you can always have a pair of loafers in your wardrobe or in your collection because it's it's like a dress shoe you know what I mean so I do still want them even if um I don't wear them like every day with everything. I do feel like I will wear them enough to need them or want them in my collection. So there's a conflict there. I don't know, what do y'all think about that? Because I, and it was out of the Chanel ones or the Prada ones. I do like the Prada ones, but I think it's that quilted flap and the buckle on the Chanel ones that I just am drawn to. They look a little bit different. I like the Prada ones too because they seem a little bit more sleek and streamlined and I definitely could see them going with so many different things, even with like just pants, like kind of covered up because it almost looks like just a boot. You know what I mean? So they're two different styles, but I think I'm kind of more drawn to the to the Chanel ones and I could be biased because I just love Chanel <laughs> but yeah I don't really know um I don't know about that one so I had a hard time putting those loafers on the list but nonetheless I have not purchased them so they made the list now this item honestly was never really on my list but I've seen them a lot and it's crossed my mind for like a millisecond and they are the Adidas Sambas sneakers I don't know how, when, where these became like the thing, like all of the, the, the girlies are wearing the shoes out. Like they're putting these on, like putting them on. And I'm just like, this is a pair that's not my vibe. <laughs> this one is not my vibe. No matter how much I see it paired with so many different things that I have in my wardrobe, it just does not make any sense to me. I feel like for me, it doesn't fit my personality, doesn't fit really my style. So I don't know, and they remind me of bowling shoes. For some reason, when I see them, I think bowling shoes, which is ironic because they they look like Adidas shoes, like nothing about them is different from the Adidas um the classic original adidas shoes you know what i mean but maybe it's that sole that looks kind of like i think it's like a gum sole you know that tan like i don't know it's something there that i can't really put my finger on but it's just a no for me but they're like everywhere everybody has them i just i just i can't it just doesn't work for me it doesn't work for me so um they made the list that is a pair that i'm glad i didn't buy i didn't even try because i just don't see it <laughs> i don't really see it being my style although when i see it i'm like oh, okay i can see how that looks good with that outfit on that person but i just feel like i'm gonna put it on and it's gonna be like that's not you that's not your style so i'm glad i skipped out on that then the last item that I have on the list is the Saint Laurent Eye Care Tote. Now this one it was another one that I was kind of conflicted on, but I justified it. Okay, so here's the deal. I love this tote because it screams travel tote. It screams like I'm on, I have errands, I need to run, I need something big enough to house all of my stuff. I might need to throw my water bottle in there. I might need to put a cosmetic bag. Like this just like is a catch all. Like, and it's, but it still has short enough handles to it where it can be worn on your shoulder like a regular handbag. But it's just oversized, right? So, 
I, I love that. However, it is that very design that I guess I don't necessarily like. Um, the fact that the straps are like shoulder straps, but the bag itself is oversized. It just doesn't seem practical for me now that I think about it. Um, because like I said, this is something that I would more so use as a travel tote versus like an everyday tote. Although I've, obviously you can wear it every day, but for me, I would probably wear this more so traveling or if I have to carry my laptop or uh, iPad or something like that, but it's just not worth it for me, especially because of the increases it has hit in the short amount of time it's been on the market. That is the craziest. I feel like that is almost equivalent to the Chanel price increases that we've been seeing. I mean, that bag literally came out and I feel like within two weeks it had already nearly doubled in price like it had significantly increased in price i believe now there are different sizes of the bag so this is going to be the one i'm referring to is the larger size the original the first one like i said i still do like the bag i just feel like i wouldn't really get as much use from it i don't think and then another thing is when it comes to oversized bags like this, I think I prefer more of a tote style with, you know, the two handles, like the straps, like a typical tote. I feel like that works better for me than this style of bag because of the opening. I, when, it, when it comes to like a catch-all bag or like a tote, I want something that is a little bit more open that I can just throw things in. This one seems more like a purse. So I feel like for me and my lifestyle, this one doesn't really fit as well as a typical tote does. Now, there are other oversized bags or I, I don't know if you call these a bag like a tote or like a shoulder bag but I've seen other versions um lately that I do like but I just I don't know um this one just I'm 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 kind of glad that I didn't get it um I don't know it, it, it's another one of those question marks for me because like I said it's a nice bag and I know that I could use it but again I've not had a moment where I'm like, oh no, that Saint Laurent I care tote, I need that. Like that would be perfect for right now. I could definitely, I haven't had that moment. I haven't had that moment. So I'm gonna just leave it at, I don't need it. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be looking to get it because it really doesn't have any place in my lifestyle at the moment. Things could change, but as of right now, it's, I'm good on it. Um, there are other bags and totes that I can use, so we'll just keep it pushing on this one. Okay, so that wraps up our list for today. I do have some other things that I wanted to add to the list, but I'm kind of like conflicted because I still do want these items. So my idea was to do a follow-up video of this, of items that I have been wanting, but am unsure of so items that i kind of like maybe have missed out on it's going to be a part two to this video i'm going to chat about those remaining items so that is going to be it for this video though i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like drop a nice comment down below subscribe hit the notification bell so you get a notification when i post again and i will see you in the next video